Spain's oldest race, the Tour of Catalunya, finally underway. Grey skies and some rain about, with 171.2 kilometres of action right from the very off. A looping course, a large one, and then a smaller circuit to be taken on, and virtually no flat roads to contend with. Very, very lumpy, and with the damp weather, and indeed the possibility of the punchers and the attackers having some fun, and climbing straight out of the back door, it was always going to be dramatic. So much so, in fact, we took an awful long time to establish any kind of breakaway. When it did form, there were six brave souls up the road, and then that was caught. And indeed, the gaps were modest from then on in. Constant regrouping seemed to be the watchword of the day. And indeed, some splits out there as the wind started to blow up as well. In the end, it was destined to all come back together despite the best efforts of the likes of Jonathan Caicedo, a man who'd been in the original break, the secondary break, and indeed a few incarnations as well as that. Our teams were getting themselves into colour order as some hopefuls uh, went off the front. Nance Peters just bridged over to Caicedo and immediately got a puncture, and such was the modest gap there was no cars to help him, and so he went backwards. Amarel, Delacroix, Caicedo himself and uh, Vindeberg forming a group up front. The rain came down, the roads got slippy, and indeed we lost a few to incidents along the way. Thankfully, all getting back up on board their machines to finish the day. Well, our final test coming around about the 26 kilometer to go marker, uh, inclines of around 7%, and despite the fact that the road did not look overly technical, the high-speed nature of the descent back down towards our finish line really did cause some worryment. Well, they'd been over the start-finish line of the final loop once prior, so they had knowledge of how this was to finish. Well, in his grenadiers, trying to look after Richard Carapaz, relaying him back in, and some dirt on his left-hand side showed that he was one of those that had come unstuck on the descent. Well, the Olympic champion carrying his golden bike up towards the fore, the breakaway taking a wrong turn, the long way round the roundabout, and that was the end of that, with 7.7 .7 kilometres to go. And as we got closer to the line, Jumbo Visma started to make a noise. Ron Dennis had been busy, Kreisfeig, Sam Oman, Tom Dumoulin, all featuring. But how would it end? 3.2 kilometres from home, we were heading into a dip. We knew about the pickup towards the end and how gruelling that could be. It's a repeat, this finish, of three years prior when Michael Matthews came to the fore and he was stalking Colbrelli, who was favourite for the day. Colbrelli, the European champion, went over to one side of the road, Matthews to the other, and it was mano a mano all the way up to the line. Who would be supreme by the end? And it was Bling that did his thing. Fantastic. Colbrelli crossing the line, and indeed had to go for medical assistance shortly afterwards. He has recently suffered from bronchitis. The relief for Michael Matthews, absolutely palpable. A drag race to the line then, and the two principal favourites were the men that duked it out at the end. Matthews repeating the feat he'd done three years prior. The smile said it all. Matthews taking it ahead of Colbrelli. Fast-finishing Pacher from Groupama Francis de Jeu was there as well. Igita in the frame, Bagioli rounding out the top five. Matthews, though, king of the hill, and indeed wearing that coveted ribboned jersey, green ribbons for our leader. A great leader then in Matthews, starting four seconds clear of Colbrelli as we race on tomorrow towards Perpignan. Catalonia, of course, bridges both the border of Spain and France, and so it is to the French side of Catalonia that we head tomorrow. 202 kilometres and more lumps and bumps along the way. Virtually no flat in this race. It could draw out a breakaway. It may well be a sprinter's or a puncher's finish. You'll have to tune in to find out. What it will be is dramatic. It always is right here.